Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational 420 and today should be Friday. I hope you guys had a good week. Uh, it's the last day of the week, so hang in there. You're almost done a couple more hours and if you're watching this after you're done, congratulations, you made it. <laughs> no, but for real, I really hope you guys had a good week. Um, I know I did. I had a lot of stuff that I got done and I'm just really excited for what's coming up next. So uh, with that, today's video is going to be about, it's a little bit different, I'm not going to include too many clips because this one's about mainly just the cartoons I enjoy watching. So uh, what I'm going to do is every, probably every couple weeks I'll drop a new one of these where I name off like three different cartoons that I recommend you guys go watch. Um, just because, okay, so obviously one of the things that, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but <laughs> if you're a cannabis consumer or a user of recreational cannabis in any way, shape, or form, then you understand why cartoons are just real, I don't know, they're, they're real cool. <laughs> they're, they're vivid and you just kind of get drawn into them when you watch, uh, when you watch them when you're, when you're stoned. So <laughs> um, I'm going to list off a couple of the ones that I personally enjoy and I'll give you guys a couple reasons why I like them. You guys have probably heard most of these. There's one that maybe you haven't. Um, um, but the other two definitely you have and if you haven't seen them like yeah, either way So let's just get right into it. The first cartoon. I'm gonna mention is family guy so family guy is one of my favorites and Before I continue, let me smoke a little bit All right, so that's so good all right, so <laughs> the first one is Family Guy. And the reason Family Guy is so good is, and here's the thing, Family Guy used to be really good. I think up until about the last two to three seasons when they got a little bit more vulgar and a little bit more like adult type humor, I kind of lost interest. Um, it's been a good while since I've seen a updated episode that I really just like enjoy. We could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Mr. Griffin, did you or did you not distribute alcohol and marijuana to minors? No, Your Honor, I did not. Told you this defendant wasn't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. Um, the reason I liked the, the, the show before was because it would hint around these very controversial topics. And then sometimes, yeah, they would go straight at the joke. But, like, they used to kind of tiptoe around the stuff. And now there's, like, blood. There's gore. There's this, all this stuff that I just... I don't personally necessarily like, but I definitely recommend and like I encourage you guys to go check out the earlier episodes, maybe from like season three, like two and up, because even season one, you know how, how it is, season one of anything is usually kind of eh. Um, but after that, it just got really good and again, maybe I'll go back and watch a couple more of the earlier seasons, give it another shot, see if maybe it changes my mind, but um, older Family Guy episodes awesome uh the second one and this one's a lot more recent a lot of you guys may or may not know about this this is border town so border town's on netflix and <laughs> i almost feel i almost feel guilty because i like it so much just because of the premise so the, the whole thing is this dude who's a border patrol agent and like his, his job is to protect the, <laughs> the country i guess uh from illegals coming in and sneaking through the border and it's just it's a really funny show um it's it's really really racist <laughs> or i feel like it comes off a little bit racist that's why i said that I, I i feel a little guilty because i enjoy it so much but it is really really funny um the humor is uh, a little more adult again this is i guess this is a weed channel i'm not expecting kids or people under the age of 21 to be watching this um so yeah just assume if i'm mentioning it here i'm talking to adults i'm not talking to kids um so yeah if you're an adult you're gonna love this you're gonna be laughing your ass off the entire time um but you're also gonna have that little guilt like oh my god did they really just say that <laughs> welcome to america you may ruin our country but our country will ruin your children we crack jokes but for the sake of exploring a, a topic light the deportation cannon but i'm legal <laughs> uh, all the like multiple times throughout each episode and it's just really really funny um and third but definitely not least is a tie so between the simpsons and king of the hill so for me the simpsons is just like it brings me back to my childhood i remember like watching them growing up my family we had a routine like every sunday 
you know, back in the day when Fox had like the Sunday evening stuff and it was like a bunch of cartoons, we would always watch those. So Family or The Simpsons was always one of those that like also I grew up in a kind of a strict household. I wasn't allowed to watch like South Park or anything vulgar or excessive like that. Um, so The Simpsons was one of the, you know, the only things I could actually watch without getting in trouble. So I just kind of grew to it and really, really enjoy it. And then King of the Hill. I mean, how can you go wrong with King of the Hill? I'll tell you what. <laughs> and I know that doesn't sound, oh my God, that is the worst impression I've ever made. Okay, so we're going to ignore that. Like that never even happened. But King of the <laughs> Bobby, I got propane in my urethra. We'll be right back with Who Will Marry a Million Bears? <laughs> All right, so King of the Hill is one of my good, like, one of my favorites. Just be, it's so wholesome. Like, you can't really, I don't know, for me, you can't see, you can't find a, fa a flaw in, you know, in, in King of the Hill. Anybody who, from the age of, like, 13 to, to 60 is going to be able to enjoy that show without, you know, feeling too awkward or weird. Or, you know, like I said, I don't enjoy things that are vulgar or over the top like that, excessive violence. Um, so that show is just one of my favorites. It's got, <laughs> I mean, Hank Hill is like the guy, right? Hank Hill is who you imagine is like Republican, like, <laughs> you know, Texan to the core. And it just plays out throughout the entire show. They did a really good job of it. Um, if you haven't seen those, I don't know how but i highly encourage you guys to go check those out like i said most of these are on netflix if they're not on netflix hulu and if not i'm sure you can just youtube half this stuff at this point um but with all that i'm really you know once again i really hope you guys had a good you know week uh i, I hope you have great plans for the weekend if you're just planning to relax enjoy yourself kick it a little bit maybe have a little bit of weed have fun with that one um but either way i'm glad you guys uh enjoy these videos and let me know what you guys think what are some of your favorite cartoons that you'd like to see featured in the future because i could always check them out and if i enjoy them i could also feature those so definitely i just want to create like i don't know i don't know where we're going but <laughs> either way this has been recreational 420 i hope you guys had a great week and have a, a, an amazing weekend uh, i'll be back again with you guys soon